many of you know what this is. It's a check valve. As a matter of fact, it's a magnetic check valve. And, well, with the exception of the ends, uh, this one is not a magnetic check valve, but it is a check valve. Hear it? This is a different type of check valve. I mean, it does the same thing as the magnetic. It, it, it allows the refrigerant to flow only one direction, for example. See where the arrow flow goes right here? Well, that means that the refrigerant can flow only in the direction of the arrow. And this check valve, which is not magnetic, allows the refrigerant to flow in that direction as well. It does the same thing, only a different way. It's sort of like people that, you know, they everybody does the same thing different. Inside of it, this casing, it has a little ball bearing that fits whoops, right in here. Okay, and when the refrigerant is flowing, the ball bearing can move out a little ways, allowing the refrigerant to flow. But if the refrigerant tries, tries to flow this direction, and the ball bearing closes up the little, that hole, okay, and does not allow the refrigerant to flow through. Uh, by the way, this slot right here, I did that using a saw to cut this out of uh, uh, another check valve, so that, that's normally not there, just to let you know. Okay, now let's take a look at a magnetic check valve. Remember this one right here? Now, on the inside of that, this check valve, the magnetic check valve, you can see there's a screen in there where the refrigerant will first enter and that kind of helps to keep debris from you know flowing through and on the other side is the actual magnetic check valve. Now how does that work? Well here again on this cutout we have a screen right here and then in this side you can sort of see through that now what you have there normally is this small round disc that's that will attach to this magnet in there okay see won't come out right now and this spacer which would normally go inside of this uh, piece and that way if the refrigerant flows through here then this disc uh, move away from the magnet and uh, of course it won't take off on the other end or anything because this piece here catches it but if refrigerant tries to flow say in this direction in the direction of my finger that is, then that metal disc will cover the hole completely not allowing the refrigerant to flow. As an added bonus I've decided to include the explanation of this solenoid valve. Now, as you can see this solenoid valve has a built-in check valve where it has an arrow pointing to the direction of flow. And what exactly happens with the, see I have this one already loose, the way this valve opens, you'll have an electromagnet, which is a coil, that will be over the stem, and when it energizes, it will open the valve. Now this, is just a service magnet. I'll turn it over here, on there. Hear that? Hear the click? Pull it off. Click. See? Open, close, open, close. Okay? That's just to sort of explain how that 
will open and close. Now, let me take this one apart. And what you can see inside here are the little pieces and parts that matter that make this particular thing work, okay? So what you have here, in here, really, is this is a like a plunger that will move up and down, okay? Depending on if if this is open or closed, let me see if when when the solenoid valve is energized, see, it pulls in this plunger into this casing, and when and, okay, whoops, it flew out of there when I de-energized it. Let's try this again. Seem to keep it in there. All right, here we go. Okay, it's better. Now, anyway, this fits inside the valve opening and closing the gateway. And um, first, with everything put together. Makes for a valve. Hello, my viewers. I hope you got something out of today's video about chuck valves and solenoid valves. And I'd like to give my shout out for the day to New York City's Department of Education in Mid Manhattan Adult Learning Center, a class of 2012. Say a loop and good luck.